Astros hitting coach Troy Snicker taking on his father, the manager of the Atlanta Braves, Brian Snicker. Kind of cool. They handed out the lineup cards today. Yeah, it was interesting. I talked to Troy before the game, and he had mentioned the only other time they've done it has been in the World Series. So tonight, we saw Hunter Brown just a moment ago. Hunter tries to turn things around after what was a very, very difficult start in Kansas City. Yeah, it was a difficult start, easily the worst start of his professional career. He said he pretty much left everything out over the middle part of the dish, and that's what happens when you do that. You give up 11 hits in an inning and set a major league record. Second game of the series, it'll be Acuna, Harris, and Riley for the Braves. Broken bat, but it'll work. It's a single to right field, but the barrel of that bat ended up all the way between Bregman and Pena. Ronald Acuna goes. And the ball bounces off the glove of Pena. But Yiner throws short hops on the strikeout of Michael Harris. Michael Harris looking to drive him in. He's off on the races again. Pitches high, throw down to third base, and he's in there. On consecutive pitches, Acuna steals second and third. And it looks like the Astros are going to challenge the safe call at third. Out. Good review. Looks like it's on him. Yeah. After review, the ruling on the field is overturned. The runner is out. Well, you think about the way the first inning went for Brown in his last start when it seemed like nothing went right. Well, something has gone right for Brown here with that caught stealing of Acuna. Yeah, 2 0 count on Riley. Hit in the air, right field. Tucker ambling in, and he's there to make the catch and retire the side. So here's Reynaldo Lopez on the mound facing Altuve, Alvarez, and Tucker in the bottom of the first. Reaching forward, a grounder to Orlando Arcia. Who makes a nice play to get the speedy Altuve? One two pitch, and he locked him up with a beautiful slider. He didn't see that coming. Two out, Tucker at first, no score, bottom of the first, and the batter is Alex Bregman. Trying to get out of the first inning here, and that should do it. Acuna hardly had to move a few steps to his left. Braves hit into one double play last night. I know one in this ball game. Here's Orlando Arcia. In the air to left, McCormick going back, still going. Is it gone? Yes! Huh. A solo homer for Orlando Rs. See you later. And it's one to nothing, Atlanta. Got just enough of it to get it over that yellow line in left field. Oh, this could be a good look. Yeah, that's not a home run. Yeah, that's a great shot. That hits the yellow line in play. It has to go beyond the yellow line. Oh, yeah. But it gonna... clearly hit the yellow line. Isn't that what you're looking for? Absolutely. This is not going to be a home run. View the ruling on the field is confirmed. It is a home run. No, it's not. How's that not in play? So the yellow line is a home run? Braves lead 1-0, one, one out, no one on for the Astros, bottom of the second. Pena a little wafter into shallow center, coming on Harris, coming on the right fielder, Acuna, and kicks into left field, and into second base is Pena. That really ricocheted off Ronald Acuna Jr., who's in some pain out there in right field. Yeah, I'm wondering if it caught him on the knee. You're exactly know, right. Catching a bad spot, you know, get a bad bone bruise, kind of. It looks like he's saying he wants to stay in the game, and that is a great sign. Brian Snicker and everybody else in a Braves uniform and all Braves fans around the world breathe a sigh of relief. To get the out on Singleton, Pena goes to third. Now it's up to Chaz McCormick with two out. Swinging him in, same pitch, same result. Lopez gets out of it. Pena stranded at third. Bottom of the third, Reynaldo Lopez facing Jake Myers. And Myers drills this toward left center field. That's down for a hit, and that's going to bounce to the wall in front of the visitor's bullpen. Myers' helmet flies off as he goes into second base with a leadoff double, second double for the Astros. You were talking about Steve. Get on base for Jose Altuve. Called strike three on the inside corner. Did not know if Tosi was going to ring Altuve up, but he did. A little delayed gratification there because we weren't sure. It looked like a pretty good pitch. It felt like one that he would get rung up on. Two out with Myers at third, and Kyle Tucker stands in. Skies it. Kelnick over toward the chalk. Is there room? There is. In fair ground, he's got it. And again, the Astros strand a runner at third. Harris struck out swinging his first time up. One of two strikeouts recorded by Brown so far. This one grounded to the right side and through a single for Michael Harris to start the fourth inning. So one out, Harris at first for Matt Olson. Harris is going 3 2, swing and a miss, a strikeout. Thrown in a second by Diaz. Out at second. Pena applies the tag, and it's a strike him out, throw him out, double play. One out of nobody on for Yiner Diaz. 0 1, and Diaz smacks it into right center, a base hit. A low line drive off the bat of Yiner Diaz. Diaz, who has the Astros' third hit of the game. He's about to get a swing on the house right here. If he goes back there again, he does, and this time strikes.
strikes him out. Yes, Lopez at strike four versus Pena. John Singleton up to the plate. On the ground, it's going to find its way into center field. Yiner will take a turn but hold up. And the Astros have two singles in the inning. So a single for Singleton. That brings Chaz McCormick to the plate. Again, the 2-2 offering. Got him. 97 gassed him up top shelf. Goodbye, Chaz McCormick. Goodbye, Astros. And another good job by Lopez with men in scoring position. Lopez has four strikeouts. Bringing the heat so far tonight has been Ronaldo Lopez. He has struck out four. He has stranded five men on base. He went around there. Yes, he did. Six strikeouts for Lopez. 0 oh 2 to Altuve. Chased another slider. Mercy. Last two sliders have been wipeouts. Made two hitters look really bad, and especially Altuve, who came in hitting 400. Alvarez has taken a called third strike, and he's grounded out to Olsen. Reaches for it, out to Kelnick. Can of corn, no problem. One, two, three. Lopez cruising through five at Houston. Braves with a one nothing lead over the Astros as we start the sixth inning. Hunter Brown set to work to Chadwick Trump. And that's lifted into shallow center. Myers coming in a few steps, makes the catch cap high, one away. Ground ball hits softly past Brown, coming on Altuve. Second baseman grabs it, throws to first, two away. Has been economical. He came into tonight's game having thrown 20 or more pitches in seven of the eight innings in which he had worked. And here he is pitching in the sixth inning tonight. Now it's Michael Harris the second. He singled in the fourth and was thrown out trying to steal second. Curve ball, bounce right side to his right. It's Singleton. He gloves, takes it to first side, retired. One, two, three inning for Hunter Brown. And we're through five and a half. Six in a row set down by Lopez since the single by Singleton in the fourth. Fastball lifted into right center field on the run. Harris, he calls for it and he races over and gets it in right center for the out. Another three up and three down inning for Ronaldo Lopez. He wants Olsen and the Braves have something brewing here in the seventh. Well, the walk puts runners at first and second before Ozuna checks in. He's got a green light here. 3 0. That's ball four. Nowhere near. And that'll load the bases now with no one out. And Joe Espada is out of the dugout. So Hunter Brown can't get an out in the seventh inning after pitching so brilliantly through the first six. Sean Dubin will come into this ball game. Orlando Arcia is responsible for the only run of the game at a solo homer back in the second inning. Righty righty matchup bases loaded no one out. Orlando gives this a ride to right center field. Myers on the track he's got it but Riley trots home everybody else wow. advances 90 feet it's two to nothing Atlanta Orlando Arcia has driven in both runs bat in the hands of Guillaume left handed hitter ground ball hits softly right side Altuve to his right he scoops it up throws to first side retired the Braves had the bases loaded and nobody out they only get one run as Dubin Able to strand a couple. That'll load the bases. Three straight singles. This is very similar to how it went last night. One down for Luis Guillorme. Two on bench. He swings and hits one high in the air down the left field line. That's falling. It's falling. It's a fair ball. And one hops over the sidewall. That'll be a ground rule double as he just splashed it in. Two runs will score. Four nothing Brave. 2-0 pitch to Chadwick Trump. And Trump hit one to right center field last time up. This one plugs the left center field gap. And the Braves have opened it up. It is six to nothing. These guys pack a punch in the ninth, don't they? Another four-run ninth inning like we saw last night. Tucker 0 for 2 with a walk tonight. Slide out twice. 1-2. And Tucker belts it deep to right field. And you can kiss that one goodbye. Kyle Tucker homers for the fifth time this year. And it is six to one Atlanta. Two down. There's Jeremy Pena. And that is smacked in the left center field, a base hit for Pena. And that's cut off in the gap by Harris, but Pena will get into second base standing up. Dubon hitting 263 on the year. It sends this one on a looper to right, and that's going to fall in. And Pena's going to score. It's now a 6-2 to two game. Mauricio Dubon, a pinch single and an RBI. Rysel Iglesias forced into a save situation here in the ninth inning, looking for his fourth of the year in his many tries. He only needs one out. Deuce is wild. Two on. Two out. Two two. Ground ball. Orlando's got it. Steps on second. Ball game over. Braves win the series. They'll go for the sweep tomorrow in Houston. 